Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a reading here for October 2022. We're going to do a general reading and a love spread right after that between you and your person. Okay, let's see what we got here going on for Aquarius this month. What's going on with my Aquarius for October 2022? I'm seeing an energy of you holding the brakes on a certain project. You are willing to keep going with this, but you are tethering your investment. You want it to go your way, and I'm seeing you have to take a break. But I do feel that you've drawn a plan to make this all come together swimmingly. You may have had some shady discussion with an agent. It could have been someone who contacted you for this. That's why they gave you a bad vibe, so you're hold, putting the brakes on this. You want to get the best deal for something, and you're very skeptical of their offer. So you're taking a step back here. I'm seeing you then retreat and think about your other assets going on here. You're steadily growing this new desire, this new mission. You have multiple different things. I'm seeing that you've started that are going to take, that are going to bear fruit one day, and you're continuing your education and research on these topics. You can have a Sagittarius in your life here or someone with that in their chart because uh, Sagittarius has some kind of similar reading like that. Okay. Your next step here is to analyze different kind of habits you may have also. Um, you're putting yourself under a microscope to determine what will give you the best emotional life afterwards because you feel some kind of neglect or something missing from your emotional body. Uh, for those of you that could be single, maybe you ponder a relationship. Parts of you feels like you don't want one, but the other parts of you feels like is life just going to go on like this? I do see you getting a lot of attention here um, and having a lot of con different conversations. So maybe that, that sparked your interest in it again because maybe you feel like you're back out there, but you're just not exactly taking advantage of that in that way. But you do like how attractive you feel. But you want to charge yourself with more emotion in some way. And I, you feel like that has been missing lately. Something like that. I do feel like you are thinking deeply about the world, about yourself. How you're going to find um, different things out. You're paying attention to this money thing. I see that that's really, really important to you at this time. You're really putting emotions on the back burner. But every now and then, like every other day, you're finding a, a time and place to feel your emotions and take it serious. So it's not like you're neglecting your emotional health, but you are uh, deprioritizing it. All right, so how people are seeing you right now is rather chatty. They feel like you do, you're here and there, you have a lot to say. People are liking your company in that regard. They feel like a uh, breath of fresh air when they come around you. They know that you have a lot of great ideas at this time and they're very excited to hear from you. They find you very professional at this time. They're seeing you that way. Uh, they can't really tell that you have some kind of grief. You're not showing it. You're holding it on all on the inside. Okay, so your hopes and fears here are about maybe relocating. Maybe there was something, if this could this deal could have been about a home, an apartment, or some kind of new, yeah, new home, new house. Uh, you wonder how the new shift would go. You're, you're contemplating that and you're seeing if you're ready for the change. I'm seeing you are in the outcome here, death. A full like, a full acceptance of what is gone is gone. You want to change, you're going to change. You're letting go of some kind of old way, old patterns, old beliefs, old egotistic attachments to your life. And you're finding it easy to let, let it go at this time in October, okay? Let's get into your love reading. You have a person this can be a reading aquarius to the person the person to aquarius
this is a very high time for your partner here you are focusing on yourself more you're taking a step back like i said you're analyzing yourself and your partner's role in your emotions um you two are starting something new here it's a new phase and it's getting a little depressing for you maybe there's a lot of pressure in it for you but this is a very high time for your partner i'm seeing they've had a new recent success a new accomplishment that they are really much so enjoying and they're planning their trip they're planning their moves forward you are overjoyed by this but you're also taken aback in some kind of way maybe you feel like oh uh, this is making you go apart but i'm seeing you're happy for them overall but you feel kind of left out of the celebration in some kind of way some of you are feeling that way now now i'm seeing though that as you guys move along here as you move on to this transition six and six you will both be on a better chapter i feel like you two are going to continue to make plans together for the future this investment is about your higher dreams things you've always wanted since childhood i'm seeing you two are both making those things happen in each other's life right now you're in a very spiritual place and you want to build on your finances this is your main focus here and your partner here is enjoying this union with you they feel like they have everything they ever wanted with the justice and the ace of pentacles here um the six of wands here they're feeling very happy to have you seems like they whatever they're doing is not erasing your glumness but you do feel proud of them they're feeling very proud of themselves they're feeling very proud of you they're feeling very happy of you happy to be with you happy that the world sees you with them they're feeling really good they're feeling really healed but it's like you feel like you have the negative end of the stick right now so i feel like you're turning that attention on yourself and trying to cheer yourself up this is what I'm seeing for this month. I do see in the outcome though, you both are going to manifest what you want. You both have the magician energy, the outcome. Six of Swords and the Magician. You're going to create this move and it's going to be successful. You may be stressing out about the move, but I'm seeing that the move is going to go better than you planned. It's going to go as planned or better than you planned. It's going to be something you want. So all these doubts here, I hope that they're temporary for you and you just march on and we'll see what happens, right? I love you Aquarius. Thank you for joining me for the reading. I'll see you guys later.